Brett from sunny Northwest Florida and today we're going to install a solar panel battery charger. And good thing to use, especially if you've got trucks and vans that are parked, say, unused for days, maybe weeks at a time. You want to keep your batteries obviously charged as much as you can. May not be convenient though if you don't have an outlet close by. So this takes care of that. Uh, this product in particular, Battery Tenders, 15 watt solar panel. This is the most powerful one that they make. What I like about it, it's got the built-in microprocessor. And so once it hits a peak charge, once it's there, it'll go ahead and maintain that charge without overcharging your battery. So that's, that's a real plus. Okay, so we're gonna install this actually on top of this roof right here, pole barn, and we got galvanized uh, metal roofing. If you're in a sunny location where, say, you don't have a roof, and uh, you can put these directly on the dash, and, and I've done that, and it will charge just fine. You can plug it into your cigarette lighter uh, to charge, or even they have an OBD2 uh, adapter as well uh, that you can plug in and enable charging that way. However, since obviously we're under cover here, we want to go ahead and have the best charge that we can get. So we're going to go ahead and install this on top of the roof. And we're going to use a frame made out of pressure treated dog eared fencing. And pressure treated because of course, you know, obviously it's going to withstand say a lot of the rain and a tough weather that we get around here. It's fairly cheap too. So only about $2.60 okay, for this. Right here, it's about an eight footer, okay, and about six inches wide. Um, next up, okay, landscape uh, cable. And so this is a 14 uh, gauge and a 25 foot run. And so this wire right here, actually, you know, 14 gauge, I felt comfortable about that. So that, uh, that would go ahead and keep the uh, current flowing uh, nicely. We've got also an adapter here. This is the, uh, two flat wire and uh, so we wanted to go ahead and keep the same connections that came with the solar panel all right and that way we don't have to actually uh, cut their uh, flat cable and that makes it easier in case you want to go ahead and take the panel down and plug in that obd2 adapter so you can plug it you know right into uh, the panel on your vehicle or the cigarette lighter so we like the uh, connectivity aspect and we're going to keep that so we're going to splice these right here. This was about $2.50 and splice those into that 14 gauge wire. Okay, so earlier I was talking about using the uh, landscape wiring here. This is a 14 gauge and using this actually and fastening it, you know, using the butt connectors okay, right here along with the uh, weatherproof electrical tape going over the outside of the butt connectors and uh, fastening it here but wait a second right you're looking and thinking well wait a second okay that's gonna be a little difficult to do um, well that's why like i said earlier i got the uh, two plug flat wire and you can get these little extensions you know just about anywhere i got these advanced auto parts and it's like 250 thereabouts and uh, so this right here actually enables you to maintain then the same wiring, okay, which I like. I like the flat wire connections because, again, the accessory items that are coming from Battery Tender, they're all gonna use the uh, two-prong or two-plug flat wire, okay, which again, you know, is really traditional in 12-volt applications, you know, very popular stuff. So anyways, uh, pretty easy to see, you know, how that goes, right? And just simply fasten these two together right here. Sorry about a frame, but there you go. Okay, so pretty easy to do. And uh, once you've got that into, into place, all right, then I'll cut it right here. Okay, snip it right here, cut that. And then of course use those butt connectors connected to the uh, landscape wiring here. Okay, and uh, that's going to come down from the roof and then go inside of the truck. It'll be connected uh, to this right here. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and just charge it through the uh, cigarette lighter. 
So up here for a bird's eye view, show you the 15 watt battery tender solar charger on top of the pole barn here. It's about 15 feet up and uh, of course in Florida, Northwest Florida, we've got a lot of good sun. Little cloudy today, but the thing is still charging away. And uh, it's actually going right down, if you follow the wire, down there to that dual battery, 97F350. And so it's done a great job in uh, charging up uh, the batteries there and also uh, in the four-wheeler. So I've been really pleased after, again, about two months of, uh, of use. Uh, so back up here, decided to go with the uh, Neo Dimium Magnets. I uh, got six total. So you got two per each ridge. And you've got, uh, of course, three ridges. And uh, so that's six. Um, it is held really well. Okay, it's nice and stable. And uh, one of the advantages, of course, is that it's gonna raise it up uh, above right here, uh, water flow, because we get a lot of rain in Florida. And I didn't want to, first of all, drill through the roof. And secondly, wanted to go above so that I wouldn't interfere the flow of water during a lot of the uh, rains that we, uh, that we get here. So that's worked out well. It's pressure treated wood and so expect to uh, expect that to last uh, for a while and of course on the end opted to go ahead and go with uh, some clamps here these are two dollar uh, c clamps and uh, that uh, allows for pro uh, portability so in case we need to go ahead and move this as we do get some pretty bad weather obviously and with hurricanes and we went through hurricane michael which was really brutal this will allow us to go ahead then and to remove the panel and to get it down or in case we want to put it someplace else and where we got to do some charging, uh, that's a real plus uh, as well. Uh, the wire, yeah, this is something I found out later. You'll see right here that the wire is uh, pretty slack, okay, which is great because you don't want this to actually be real tight, be too much strain right here on that battery conditioner module. So what I ended up doing to avoid that was wrapped it right around the beam, okay? So that worked out well, or I could take the wire, wrap it around it, you know, and then it relieves the, uh, the tension, okay? So got it where it's slack here, and then from that beam, it runs down there to the truck, okay? So uh, again, you know, the two batteries there and the F-350 have been charged up uh, nicely uh, with the charger and maintained right that's the other thing too is that you know with this particular uh, model it does have that battery conditioner maintainer okay so once it hits peak voltage it'll go ahead and keep the battery properly maintained and i'm a true believer in that technology and i've had batteries uh, for years and when i've used a battery charger that has the conditioner maintainer it will increase their their life i'm a firm believer in that and i've had batteries last for for years as a result so a real nice uh, plus uh, that comes with the 15 watt uh, battery tender solar charger. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and uh, give you another uh, look here at this 15 watt battery tender solar charger. I took it down from, uh, from the roof so you can get a uh, closer look at it. And uh, you'll notice that we've got uh, two planks right here on the top. So these planks pressure treated, uh, actually dog-eared fencing. So you can get this pretty cheap. Uh, it was like $2.60 for an eight foot plank at the uh, local home improvement store. Uh, so really reasonable. Nice again that it's pressure treated uh, up there on top of the roof. Okay, use stainless screws here and here, of course, and then uh, stainless on the bottom as, as well. And on the back, I wanted to go ahead and show you here. Um, this was the trickiest part, okay, of the, uh, of the install. And that's going to be right here. We have the uh, Neo Dimium magnets, which are very strong magnets. Okay, so these go on top of uh, the ridges, as I uh, showed you before, on top of the uh, pole barn roof. And so, real trick here was to go ahead and first use stainless screws. The stainless screws, of course, are non magnetic, so it made it easy to work with uh, these powerful magnets. And they had to file the top of the heads of the screws. Uh, so that they didn't protrude past the magnets, okay? So that took some work, definitely. It was worth it, 
okay it paid off in the long run because again it holds you know really strongly there on on top of the roof okay so um total cost for everything was just under uh, 40 bucks all right so ended up uh, tallying a list actually and so our running list we've got most expensive part really would have been the uh, landscape wire all right so that's 25 feet and that's the uh, 14 gauge uh, two wire landscape wire now uh, you can get that down at a home improvement uh, store and so for us that was uh, by the foot and so we ended up getting uh, 25 feet that came to 1350 okay next up the magnets you know nine dollars for those we got the uh, screws right that was two dollars for all the screws uh, we got four dollars for the c-clamps okay so those are the uh, one inch uh, c-clamps uh, $2.60, like I said, for the dog-eared fencing plank, again, which worked out really well. Um, the flat wire, and this is two-way flat wire, and really common when it comes to 12-volt applications. And so we ended up getting uh, an adapter that enables uh, this to connect to our landscape wire. Okay, and so that ended up being just uh, slightly, uh, about $2.00. And uh, then we've got, uh, of course, the butt connectors. And you've got different types of butt connectors. You can get uh, heat shrink uh, butt connectors, uh, which is probably the best bet. I ended up using standard butt connectors and uh, just used uh, weatherproof uh, electrical tape, which is kind of pricey, and wrapped them in that. But again, you could use um, some uh, heat shrink butt connectors. You can get some for about $4.60, a pack of those. You know, relatively uh, inexpensive and those things you know will last a long time out out in the weather so again uh, everything was just uh, slightly under 40 bucks you could probably do it cheaper and if you can great uh, but again i didn't want to go ahead and mount this permanently through the roof okay it was one of my goals i wanted to be portable they got off the roof you know during storms if if need be or move it just because i needed to charge up you know some other vehicle uh, or whatever, maybe the four-wheeler someplace, so, or, or the boat, you know, as well, okay? So, yeah, keep in mind that I, I built this with portability in mind, uh, so that did increase uh, my cost somewhat. And again, if you can get it cheaper, hey, more power to you. But again, it worked great, though, on this 97F350, the dual batteries, charged them right on up, okay? And it keeps them charged, you know, nicely. And again, that's with that uh, maintenance battery conditioner that comes with Battery Minder products. So highly recommend it. Mm -hmm.